Well, we're here at Whistler Film Festival, and I am on the red carpet with one of the great actors here that is premiering her film, Promised Land. Andrea, I saw the film. Wow, it, um, it's gritty, it's dark, there's a journey your character takes. Can you describe that to our audience? Uh, yes, it's definitely a journey. I play a character, her name is Velvet, and she is a woman, a troubled woman, who has been disadvantaged since her young age. And um, she happens to be a prostitute, which is a byproduct of her background, I think, that will be revealed in the film. And the role was very important to me because I wanted to give a voice to people like her who are, who've had background, maybe were kidnapped or had some traumatic past, and perhaps because of that they took a path that is not so uh, stereotypical and maybe they end up as a prostitute because I think that especially in Vancouver but in all major cities we do have a lot of people that live on the street or work on the street and they are human beings and no, this is not it's not a fantasy role it really is dark it's true uh, to life uh, there there is a lot of violence and um, how did you how did you pour yourself into this role what did you have to be thinking about to become velvet I think when I first read the script, I really thought of, okay, what can I bring in for my own life first? Um, and then I, I, was, I used to travel a lot and I lived in different cities and knew a lot of people. I read a lot, watch a lot of films. So I kind of, there were certain image, images that kind of came to my mind mm -hmm. and I used those and then I just kind of carved her and created her. It was a bit of a process. Yeah. And for the, for the violent scenes, I just try to be really truthful of how would a woman feel in those situations and how can I most authentically portray some, someone who is in that kind of situation because I wanted people to kind of see not necessarily what it looks like but what is she going through in her face and her expression and I think you can probably see that in the film. Mm -hmm. We did and you become a survivor not just a victim. Yes. Your strength comes out which for women we love to see that. That's really incredible. Now you are you're a musician, you are a international model, you were, and as well as an actor, which you've thrown in to be an actor completely now. And I, I read that you, not, not until about eight years ago, did you really, really throw yourself into this and you're making some big headway. How did you make that decision? I think I always wanted to be an actor, but because I was an immigrant, it took a while for me to actually speak sufficient English to be able to pursue the career. And I had opportunities to go travel and be a model, which I thought it was great for personal growth and for exposure and getting to know people. And then when I finally spoke enough English, I just thought I'm going to study. And I studied in, in Toronto and Montreal and then slowly relocated myself back to Vancouver. And I thought, if I give this a try, it must be 100%. It's the only way, because that's the only way to do something, I think, in my, in my world. I agree. And yeah. wouldn't you love to have that acting coach see you now? Yes, I would. <laughs> I'm sure he has. <laughs> I think he has. Do you forgive him? I forgive him. I forgive everyone. I don't think, you know, to hold a grudge, it's, it's, it's bad for me or it's bad for people. So I forgive him and if I see him here, I'll probably come up to him and I'll say hi, it's me and maybe you remember me from when I was 18. Aww, and here I am and I'm very happy that you said that to me because it kind of gave me this fuel to actually pursue what I really wanted to do. Well, the biggest geniuses have had somebody <laughs> in their life say you can't do it and they've done, gone and done it anyway. So congratulations you. on your <laughs> debut and uh, absolutely great movie. Uh, thanks for spending some time with our city tonight. Thank you.